Hello, and welcome to today's coaching Q&A call. Uh, Q&A call. I am Wendy Greer with Learning Strategies and Mind Tracks, one of the coaches here. Um, we were going to start today talking about career fulfillment and purpose and then move into the questions. We did have quite a few. So um, I I always love, um, I love great literature. And what I, I think I love about it, literature and poetry, is the precision with which people, um, these authors can sum up and distill really profound or, or all-encompassing concepts. And I wanted to start off today with a, a quotation from Maya Angelou. Um, it, it goes, you can only become accomplished at something you love. Don't make money your goal. Instead, pursue the things that you love doing and then do them so well that people can't take their eyes off you. And that is such a great summary of what it's like to have passion in your life, to know why you're here, to be living that, to be fulfilling that purpose and, and um, to be living what your core values are. It's just such a great summary. Do them so well. And you will in, innately do that because it's, it's part of who you are and it is what you're passionate about. It's probably what you're here to do and what your unique gift is. Uh, the paraliminal I love for this, and I think this is one of the more underrated and underutilized paraliminals in our library is Success Built to Last. We did this one with Stuart Emery and what his... Um, he studied people that have gained mastery in a, a variety of different areas. And one of the things he noticed was how passionate and how totally all-encompassing the, the goal was in their life. It, 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 it radiated out into all aspects, their relationships, their health, their, their career, their, you know, their spiritual connection. It was, it, they were living what they were passionate about. And that, that, enable them to have the the wherewithal and the focus and the commitment to fulfilling that because it was what they loved doing it was it it was they were doing something that they would do without being paid for it but they were doing it so well that they were being paid for it so success built to last is one that i i always suggest when people are feeling in a bit of a conundrum about where they're going what they're doing what um what what they're what they wanted to do with their lives um, there's a couple of exercises that I love for this um, that are outside of the paraliminal venue, but I want to share them because they're so profound. I've mentioned the first one in another um, Q&A session, but it, it bears repeating because it can be, it has such an impact on you. We created a course called Effortless uh, Success with Jack Canfield. And one of the ex one of the sections is about clarifying your life purpose. And what he has in that is a life purpose exercise. And basically what you do is you make a list of those things that um, that float your boat, things that you love doing, that you've been told you do well, that you that you feel committed to, that are aligned with what you value. And you you make a complete list. Um, one of the things I always suggest people do is not only do your own list, but talk to your friends, business associates, even casual acquaintances and say, what do you think I do well? What do you think um, are my most dynamic attributes? What do you think my qualities are? That, that draw you, that, that seem very real to you, because often other people can perceive what you do well better than you can. I've had um, several cases where it was pretty immediately um, evident to me what somebody's calling might be because of how they were presenting and what was important to them. They didn't have a clue. And so I think it's really important that you sort of get input from everybody. When you have this long list, pick out one or two of the attributes or the qualities or the skill sets or whatever it is that you feel are most profound, most aligned with what you value. And then you distill those and then you, 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 you start noodling how that might express in the world. And it doesn't mean you necessarily have to be, um, you have to be in that field, quote unquote. The example that Jack uses that I, I thought was really fun was um, he had a, uh, he does some success built to last courses, live courses, and he had a, a, a bus driver for an urban area, a, um, a, a, sorry, a cosmopolitan area. I think it was New York or Chicago, one of the big cities. And the guy recognized he always wanted to be a stand up comic. And of course, you wouldn't think bus driving and stand up comic go together. But he recognized that every day he had a captive audience. And so he started cracking jokes. And people, what ended up happening is that people started lining up for his bus. They let the others pass by because they wanted to start the day and end their day with a laugh. So this whole life purpose exercise, it gives you sort of a mission statement. And it's an umbrella goal that if you're fulfilling that, you know, you might be in the mortgage business. You might be an attorney. You might be a physician. You, you could have any number of of professions but if you're expressing and fulfilling 
whatever that is, you know, it might be spreading beauty in the world. It might be um, being of service. It might be that you, you, integrity is so important. So you, you insist on integrity in yourself and helping others to have integrity in their lives, whatever it is, it gives you this umbrella. So anything you do on the, under that will have meaning and you will be passionate about it and you will find yourself feeling incredibly fulfilled. Um, the other exercise I like was uh, Lisa Nichols, who is, um, I enjoy her because she's so grounded. She's, she lives in the real world. And she is so grounded. You know, Jack, Jack it's not that Jack isn't grounded. He's, his, I think his, his, uh, his skill set that he does so well is he sees what people do well and borrows them. And then he adapts it to, to integrate it into a way of fulfilling your, your full potential in whatever way you're choosing. Lisa is very grounded and very pragmatic. And, uh, one of her things is the enduring legacy. You know, what what is it that you want to be known for? And she she had a couple of exercises in the course we did with her. Um, it was, um, you, you deserve it. Um, either imagine you're sitting on a porch in your rocking chair and you're 80 years old or, you know, whatever. And you think back on your life and what do you want to be saying you did? What what would you want to be expressing? What what did you want to do what would what would make you look back and go, that was a good life. I did what I came here to do. Or the other the other way you can approach that is it, suppose that you've passed on, you've shuffled off this mortal coil and there's a memorial service for you. What would you like to hear people saying about you? What would they they I love this about I I will always remember or the 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 quality that always comes to my mind or what always makes me smile about, you know, so you're sort of looking at what the legacy is, what you're leaving behind, because, again, that's going to bring you down to um, what 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 you're probably going to be doing well, because that's what people picked up from you. So it's it's uh, those two exercises can be incredibly potent. And so I, I wanted to share those, even though I'm stepping outside of the milieu of the paralemos, they will give you content to take to the paraliminals. So as I said, success built to last um, always when somebody's confused about where they're going, um, not clear on why they're here, what what they want to be doing. And there's a lot of transitional stuff happening right now. A lot of people are, are shifting gears. So success built to last can really help you to finesse that. Um, in the topic recommendations in the paraliminal accelerator that I've talked about, um, there are uh, there's a, a whole list of, of uh, paraliminals. I want to feature a couple. Prosperity is a very adaptable paraliminal because it isn't just prosperity in the financial sense. It's a it's an abundance, a, a prosperous uh, situation. It can be your health, your spiritual connection. It can be your relationships. Prosperity is, is can be adapted very easily to all of those by a well formed intention. So if you're you feel like you've lost your support system and your tribe, then you want to have prosperous and meaningful um, social networking that starts supporting you and fulfilling you and helping you to to manifest, you know, the the business relationships you want or the or the client base you want or whatever can be, uh, you know, prosperous in all those aspects of your life. Peak performance is listed. Um, peak performance it helps you to tune in to when you're at your best, because when you're performing at peak capacity, you're probably going to be doing what you're passionate about. You're probably going to be supporting that because that's why you have that enthusiasm and you have that that sense of of um, meaningful relationship, meaningful expression, meaningful emoting. Conscious time. Um, a lot of us fritter away a lot of time on things that are not significant to us. And, you know, people will tell me they don't have the time to do this, that and the other. And then I find out they sit in front of a television all night. So, you know, conscious time can help you to really tune into where where your time is going. If it's if it's meaningful use or whether there might be a different way to approach it. Um, I'm just going to run through the rest of these pretty quickly. Get around to it, um, because if you're not doing, you're not getting around to what's important, then clearly you're not going to move forward in that aspect of your life. Um, sales leap intuition amplifier. I like that one, um, because it really helps you to tune into what you may not be picking up. A lot of us live very, uh, cognitive. We're very cognizant from a logical sequential sense, but intuition amplifier helps you think outside the box and you'll pick up things that, um, that, that might not be so evident to the conscious mind, but they've been trying to percolate up from beneath. Um, talking to win is another one, power thinking. So those are the ones that are listed in the accelerator. Any of those will be helpful for tuning into to a, a fulfilling, purpose-filled life. But um, I, I wanted to sort of feature those. Um, I also want to bring up something. Um, I love things that are synchronous. And I'm reading a book. This I, I love things that either... Um, 
right before bed or when I get up in the morning that that there's powerful thoughts to start and finish my day. And this year I'm using a book called A Deep Breath of Life by Alan Cohen. I can't remember who recommended it. I, I would attribute it to them. But um, a month ago, I, I knew this was the, going to be the next topic. And so this absolutely jumped out at me from the, the March 10th, um, the March 10th uh uh, he usually starts with a story and then he he supports why why he thinks that's important. The story for March 10th was an attorney who um, was not into what he did at all, um, loved computers, loved technology, and his uh, the company he worked for ended up going bankrupt. And so he ended up doing a lot of research on bankruptcy and then realized that he had um, he, he got all these tools and skills and insights that would help people deal with bankruptcy and how to pick themselves up, dust themselves off and move forward. So he started a new career doing what he was here to do probably. So anyway, the, the way he summed up what had happened is the key ingredient for success is enthusiasm. And I think that enthusiastic aspect will let you know if you, if you're enthusiastic about something you're passionate about is probably, probably what you're here to do. You can have a wealth of skills, but if your heart is not fully present, you will feel unfulfilled and your work will reflect it. If you have enthusiasm, you will find the energy to acquire the necessary skills and draw to you all the people and support you need to succeed. We dishonor ourselves and others by staying in positions out of familiarity or obligation. If you tolerate boredom or compromise, the universe will fire you, fire you up, so you can be in your right place where you can really be fired, which is what happened to this gentleman that, that introduced the topic. If it is not a hell yes, it's a no. If you practice this principle, you will be in your right place. You will feel fulfilled and miracles will happen through you. I just thought that was just such, such a neat summary. And just a month before we, we, we were talking about this in the, uh, the Q&A session. So we had quite a few questions. Um, I'm going to... Um, Answer, some of them I've already answered just based on what I have just spoke, spoken about. And there were a couple that were technical. So I wanted to route you for those to customer service at mindtracks.com. They are really great at, you know, knowing what device you're using, helping you to utilize like sleep tracks or, you know, any of the technical aspects of using the paraliminals. So I wanted to address the ones that were more um, what paraliminal to use and why, why I would recommend, what I would recommend and why I would recommend it. So um, first question, I've suffered from depression most of my life and recently experienced a traumatic episode just over a year ago that has affected me very deeply. Can I spit, still benefit from using paralimals despite my present circumstances? Absolutely, positively. Um, I would never suggest paralimals um, instead of, of therapy if, if, you're, if this is a deep-seated, chronic, and very intense experience. However, paraliminals aligned with traditional therapies or allopathic therapies from psychiatry or, or allopathic medicine can support you to such an intense degree because you're working with your other than conscious mind as well as your conscious mind. And so you can really benefit from using whatever would address the symptoms that are arising because it helps you come from, from a different perspective. And it also helps you act, access the inner wisdom and the intuitive knowing that resides in all of us that we often don't get in everyday life. So absolutely, it would be helpful. Um, I would definitely, depending on how this is manifesting for you, if it's anxiety, anxiety free, if it's um, your, your self-esteem is plummeting and you feel worthless, then it might be um, self-esteem supercharger, you deserve it. Always when you're using paralimals, go for what's presenting. That's why they work. They're so organic because they're so adaptable to whatever's going on in your own personal life. So, um, and I do want to mention throughout this, these questions, if you if you email coach at mindtrax, M-I-N-D-T-R-X dot com, I monitor that account. And so it's re if, if I can get more information on what is presenting, it's easier for me to recommend a specific paralimal. You can do it yourself. Um, you read the title, read the read the subtitle and go with that. But if you need an additional input, please feel free to use that coach at mindtrax dot com. Um, interesting one here. Why do I get slightly nauseous when experiencing your product? Um I can't give you a specific answer on that, but I see this a lot. Um, we did a meditation program where I had several people had some really intense reactions. When you're working with new energies and new frequencies, it will manifest physically in interesting ways. Um, you know, I remember Pete mentioning that when he started working with Qigong, he, he started bouncing. His energy was so, it was like the energy just had to had to get out somehow. And he was just almost, you know, bouncing up and down. I've had people um, get, um, either so relaxed it was hard to come back to re to reality 
or um, an, an anxiety that dissipated slowly. So my suspicion is that you're shifting some deep set patterns. And so there's a, there's a discomfort with the difference in the feeling. There's a discomfort with how, how different it is. And sometimes there's almost uh, a grief that comes up because people recognize that a pattern they've been following for years has not been serving them. And it's almost a, a remorse comes up that bubbles up and you just have to weep it out. You just have to, okay. Uh, it, you know, and once you, once you process that it's done and you can move on because you've released it, no judgment. Um, you can discern differently now and you can move forward. So my suspicion is you're doing some deep seated work, um, you know, and one, the other thing you could do anytime you're having a reaction, talk to your other than conscious mind. I've had a couple of people that it was so extreme that they were having trouble functioning. I'm willing to work with what's surfacing. I'm willing to understand these insights. However, I need them to bubble up in an ecological fashion. I need to be able to function in the world. I need to go to work in the morning. I need to, you know, take care of my family. So please have it percolate slowly to the surface so I can process it, release it, and move through it and beyond it to everything I'm meant to be. So that would be a great um, sort of way to approach that as far as the paralimals. Build that into your intention that that is the way it's going to transpire. Um, what paraliminals would you recommend for connecting with my higher self, my spirit and strengthening intuition, and psychic abilities? Anytime anybody wants something like that, I always go to intuition amplifier because it helps so significantly in thinking outside the box. We all have intuitive, um, knowledge that we often aren't listening to because it, it isn't speaking loudly enough. It can't get through all the everyday chatter of living in, in the real world and all the pragmatic things we have to do. So intuition amplifier sort of helps you to move all that aside so that you can, it can actually be heard. The intuition can be heard. Um, creativity supercharger is another go a good one for that because we often get so bound up in the pragmatic and the to-do list and all the, the cut and dry things we have to do that we forget our creative side. And one of the things that happens when people start using creativity supercharger is they might be doing it around a, a particular area, like they, they've taken up painting and they want to be more creative and allow themselves to do it free flowing and not judge themselves. Well, often what happens is they'll start thinking differently about their career and they'll make some changes that move them ahead or a relationship that might be not quite what they would like. So creativity supercharger is very adaptable. So those are the two I would definitely go to. Um, again, they're personal. Go go to what seems to, to support you as you move move forward um, in, in in that that intuitive and psychic connection to 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 your inner knowing, your inner wisdom. Um, I always feel reluctant to do what is important for my growth. How can I be free from such a kind of such a circumstance? My suspicion is there's some deep seated, probably very early based um, doubts about either the safety of growing or the um, your your worthiness to do it. So I would probably use um, self-esteem supercharger, um, the self-actualization, the self-love. Um, I, I have I've had a couple of really interesting experiences where um, one of them was a gentleman who discovered um, he was incredibly articulate. I had quite a few conversations with him, but he would he would be right on the cusp of success and he'd do something stupid. I mean, really dumb, um, sort of, you know, shoot yourself in the foot type thing. And one of the things that he recognized and I wish I could, he was using abundance for life, but I believe he was using new history generator as well but one of the things he discovered was that in his home as a child very young i mean he remembered one and a half two years old um he discovered that it was not safe to contradict his dad because his dad was very violent and um clearly had a self-esteem issue could he use self-esteem supercharger because if you contradicted your dad in that house you find you might find yourself hitting the wall on the other side of the room and so once he recognized that that he'd integrated that as a child he was able to approach it as a grown up and go, OK, that may have been valid then. It's not valid now. And so he moved through it and beyond it. So my suspicion is there may be some history there that is stymieing you. So I would probably use um, anytime you're stuck, the generator parallels are so good. The new action, the new behavior, the new option, the new history, because those stuck states are often that we integrated something that is not true, capital T true. And we think it is. And so we're seeing through these filters of doubt or of not enough or of lack of safety. And so we need to clear those so that we can approach as an adult with the current resources, the current, you know, 
knowing the current wisdom, the, the life experience that we've integrated and move through it and beyond it. So that's what, where I would go with that. Um, okay, I did address that one. Um, how to integrate all goals in one. Um, I'm going to lump that with another one that asks about um, multiple goals and multiple paraliminals. You can use multiple paraliminals um, at one time. However, uh, I can always tell somebody who just got the library because some people go on an orgy of, of paraliminal listening and they'll call, they are so overwhelmed. It's just crazy. And, you know, they'll be doing 12 a day type thing. So what I generally say is one or two, maybe three that are sort of on related topics. And the other issue can be, um, you can have multiple goals and I'm all for goals. I, you know, I, I have goals in, in all areas of my lap. However, I will pull forward and I recommend generally not more than one or two, because what I see happening in people that do, or they're trying to work on a dozen goals at one time is they get up in the morning and it's, it's not clear which one is priority that day. And so they're juggling so many balls that they start dropping and they're not doing anything well. So I generally recommend one or two at one time. Um, you can you can you can have those goals out there. I mean, I have a I have a journal that I keep and I I have all my goals in particular areas, but I'm I'm usually working on one or two. And that seems to work well for most people. What tends to happen is the ones that are on the back burner sort of percolating will come along anyway, but the, work on one or two at a time and pick paraliminals that are pertinent to those. Um, you know, that a whole a story about you can't pull on one thread of the web of life without jiggling the whole the whole um, the the whole tapestry. That is true with the goals too, because often they 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 will move in tandem. But I recommend one or two goals and pick a few paraliminals that seem pertinent to that. Um, and and as far as changing it up, generally you'll feel a shift when you're when you've received the benefit from a paraliminal, and so you might want to. Um, you might want to change it. The, the other thing I notice a lot with goals is there are layers of why we aren't there. So once we process one layer, it's almost like, you know, the uh, those uh, matryoshka, the little Russian dolls where there's all the layers. The outside one is most evident. So you take that off and then there's another doll. So there's another reason that you aren't achieving your goals. And then there's deal with that. And there's another one. And then finally you get to the core in the center and then it's total freedom, totally open. So that's the way um, a lot of people tend to find their lives evolving, particularly when you've been in a stuck state, you know, where you're, you're feeling like you're sort of jaded and you're just, you just don't have the energy. You don't have the enthusiasm. Peel off the layer that's on top, peel off, peel off, peel off, and use the parallels that pertain to whatever's surfacing at the time. Um, do you have to wear headphones when playing the sleep tracks? Ideally you would, however, because all the tracks are laid in both ears, you will still benefit. We've had people with profound hearing loss in one ear use paraliminals and they still benefit because, because the tracks are laid in both ears. So yeah, it isn't an issue. We've also had people use speakers because they, they can't stand earphones for some reason and they still benefit. So yes, absolutely. Um, I've struggled with the money issue. I have sev uh, several of the abundance focused paralimals since I purchased a subscription, but I still seem to struggle with helping the community I'm working with and earning a profit. Uh, where can I start to figure out what my issue is? I would probably go to the, um, the self-love, the self-esteem supercharger, because what those are going to help you do is um, work through why you're not loving yourself, why you don't have the esteem. It sounds to me like there's some doubt underneath there. Again, like the gentleman I mentioned where you didn't con con contradict your dad because it wasn't safe to do that. So my suspicion is there's something underlying that that, that needs to surface and be looked at as a grown-up, you know, when you have the resources of a grown-up. You might also try the generator parallels, new history. Um, that would be probably one I would go to. Um, if you find that you're struggling with money issues because of a certain thing you do, then you might go to new action behavior or new behavior gen new, uh, new action generator or new behavior generator because again, those will deal with chronic issues that are making you feel stuck. Uh, what would you suggest for building confidence in expanding an online life coaching practice? Um, sleep tracks. Uh, email that to the um, customer service. That's a technical issue. Um, and then. He Mentions um, Paul talking about using a paraliminal for jet lag. My suspicion is that was probably perfect health, but I'm not positive on that. So if you want to email that one to coach at uh, mindtracks.com, I'll, I'll uh, contact Paul and get a, a definite answer on that one. Um, 
confidence and um, is self-esteem supercharger, self-love. Um, probably you deserve it. Uh, again, it might be new history generator. There might be some historical reason that you're doubting yourself and don't have the confidence. Um, it might be that that there's some values misalignment. Um, you know, are you are you are are your goals and what you're trying to coach around? Does it, does it have integrity with what you value and what what you feel your your um, your particular skill set is? So make sure that you're aligned. That there's a that the values you're supporting are aligned with the values that that are important to you. Because if there's a disjoint there, there will be a tendency to to self sabotage. There'll be a tendency to not follow through. So. That's where I would suggest with that. So that basically, I think, covers everything that came in. As I said, there was some overlap. So if you didn't hear your specific question, um, that should, I, I, I'm, I, yes, I, I covered all the content that came in today. So I want to wind this up with, um, as you know, I, li I like snippets of, uh, of distilled wisdom. And this one, I'm not sure who Harold Thurman Whitman is. I was going to look him up and see what his, um, what his writings were. But this is so pertinent, so I thought I'd wind up with this one. Don't ask yourself what the world needs. Ask yourself what makes you come alive and then do it. Because what the world needs is people who have come alive. I just love that. It gives me goosebumps. So live your passion. Come alive. You know, what makes what makes you come alive? That's what you're here to do. And when you share that, you're you're illuminating the world for other people. And that's what we're about here. We're we're here to illuminate and uh and 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 uh change the world so everybody's fulfilling their full potential and being expressing that unique quality they're here to to share. So do what makes you come alive and then share it. So lots of love to you from all of us here at Learning Strategies and learning strategies and mind tracks. And I'll say goodbye until next time. You take care. Bye-bye.